Welcome to Dartford FC TV's match highlights. Proudly sponsored by All About Them. It is Halifax that will kick us off shooting from right to left as we look at things in their blue shirts, white shorts and blue socks. Dartford from left to right in their white shirts, black shorts and white socks. Immediately Connor Essam sticking himself about her along with Josh Wilson who is dispossessed by Noble. And now Dartford very four down this right hand side with Adam Burke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And John Gillingham lays it back to Noble inside to Bradford to Burns. Full side off the right touchline. Lovely passing football in the opening exchanges from Dartford just settling on the ball nice and early. Burns beats his man once more. Breaks over the halfway line. Tries to play the three balls and Ward's gone. It's cleared away by Halifax and Dartford have it back once more. 40 seconds gone and Halifax have barely had a touch on the ball. Now on the left touchline with David Martin, the loney from Luton, looking to sprinkle his way down that left side line. Looks a break past his man, but Martin goes into the penalty area and is fouled on the edge of the penalty area. Strong challenge for Paul Martin, but the referee says unfair use of the arm and a quick free kick that Martin wanted to take initially, not being allowed by the referee. And uh, let's only through the two teams then this afternoon. Alan Julian in goal for Darford, a back four of Burns, Essen, Clark and Sterling. Midfield four, Martin, Stevenson, Bradbrook and Noble. Up front, Adam Birchill and Matt Godden returning from injury. For all the visitors this afternoon, Matt Glennon in goal, a back four of Marshall, Enger, Roberts and McManus and midfield four of Wilson, Pearson, Maynard and Smith and Gardner supporting Ironside up front. A minute and a half gone, Darford with a free kick, left edge of the penalty area, Noble standing across it, six men inside the box waiting for this. It's Noble who curls it towards the far post, it's over the top, Brad Bradford can't get a hit to the ball, it's going to be cleared away by Wilson, but a good strong miss to the ball by Stevenson, and now Manas can put his foot firmly through the ball. Just drops back a little bit deeper, long throw in then from Roberts towards the penalty spot, flicked on by two players, and it'll just roll harmlessly wide of the goal it was. Already has two goals to his name so far this season, and one red card as well. Inside the Halifax half. Can be taken by Noble, swings it in towards the penalty spot. Bradford's over the head of it, straight into the arms of Matty Drennan. Supporting, thinks about the left foot of ball in, they run past each other, it's still Godden. Drives one left footed out towards the left touchline with Martin. Martin left footed, drives one in towards the post, and well, Max Lennon nearly let Bill underneath him. It was a speculative effort from David Martin, who just forward down this left touchline for Halifax. It's Smith in possession. Burns comes across. Smith cuts back onto the right foot. Jinx it into the centre. Unmarked header. Oh, golden opportunity there for Joe Ironside. That's Darford in towards the near post. It's headed away strongly there. Throw in for Darford. Right touch on Martin. Puts it into towards Burton inside the penalty area. Martin gives the assist. Dark and cold it gets. Whitstable have taken the lead against Epsleet in the trophy. Interestingly, Halifax with a free kick swung in towards the centre. And it's come off the post. It was Ironside who was up with Elliot Bradbrook and Alan Julian just had to watch that one spin off the inside of the post. And now a chance for Darfur to put the ball forward once more. Martin with a couple of step overs, beats his first man, now plays the ball down the left channel for Virgil. Virgil left foot ball towards the back post and onto the roof of the net. Just tried to check his run, but the ball was played behind him and now Darfur can carry it forward. One, two, lovely little flick on from Adam Virgil. Stevenson turns on the ball. He's got Gordon in front of him, he's got Virgil making the run. He went down, but I think Stevenson's pass was never going to find him. Yeah. Ball not forward, mistake by Kenny Clark is allowed. Joe Ironside in, hits it right footed. Great save by Alan Julian. Kenny Clark just completely misjudged the spin and the bounce of that ball. And Ironside with a golden opportunity in stoppage time at the end of the first half to give Halifax the lead. And well, they probably should be leading with the chances that Joe Ironside has thrown away in this one. It was a dreadful mistake, but a great save from Alan Julian from about 10 yards out. Just Diving low to his left as Ironside could pretty much pick his spot. As Connor Essam had come across just a cut the angle down slightly, but a striker of Ironside's quality really should be doing better. Just one goal to his name so far this season. 
And maybe you can tell why. Floated in towards the centre, the resulting corner kick headed away this time by Clark as Roberts was there. Now it's Wilson, lays it back towards Smith. Late Halifax pressure at the end of this first half. Ball floated in towards the far post, headed on by Anger. Now to the edge of the box, struck left footed. It hits Sir Stevenson in the face, I think, and the half time whistle goes. Not a moment too soon for Darford. Stevenson still feeling it. Done a few times already this season. Now going on the breaking forward for Halifax, edge of the penalty area. Lazy short towards Smith. Smith into the box, back onto the right foot. Looks to curl one, beats his man. Left footed Smith hits it. Great save from Julian and then takes it away. The Wilson have a chance now though. 58 minutes gone. Darford nil, Halifax nil. Free kick on the right hand side to be reaching. Left footed, it slips because he's taken it as poor old Marshall. But it's uh, gone only as far as Pearson who hits it from long range and is parried away by Alan Julian. I thought that was going wide. Ironside able to collect the rebound. It stayed in now. Smith on the left hand side on his right. Good. Looking to bring it across, beats two men, Smith into the penalty area. We've got three men to pull it back to, headed away, only as far as Marshall. He miscontrols and he hits it right at left footing. Great save by Julian once more. How have Halifax not scored in this one? Now Darford looks to break on the counter attack. The ball. Yes. 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 Knocks a long ball forward, left alone by Danny Harris. Tries to dummy it for Matt Godden. And Matt Godden coming back from an offside position. Doesn't play it, but mistake now. Danny Harris left footed. Oh, what a team effort that was. Stopford's best opportunity of the afternoon. And Danny Harris, well, that's a striker. That's a Stevenson. He runs forward. So do Lee Noble down that right hand side. Burns plays a ball down the touchline, back inside towards Burns from Noble. Burns getting towards the byline, keeps it in, falls to Harris. Surely no, Stevenson looking to pull the trigger. It's just cleared away in the six yard box. And now Halifax inside with Maynard. Sterling is there, floated in towards the edge of the box. Chested down by uh, Ironside, gets it onto his left foot. And Ironside scores for Halifax. It's been coming. Don't be warned that it's been coming. Joe Ironside fires Halifax into the lead. 63 minutes gone, left footed underneath Alan Julian and into the back of the net. It's Darford nil, Halifax one, Darford. Noble gets the ball back rather fortuitously. Now plays in Matt Goddard. Matt Goddard to strike it for Darford and wide of the goal. Oh, Matt Goddard. A lot to go plus stoppages. Darford won Halifax nil. You're listening to Ben Croucher on BBC Radio Kent on this Saturday afternoon. Ball allowed to bounce by the Darford defence. Ironside in behind on the left touchline. Short towards Adam Smith. Smith back onto the right foot. Delays the first time cross. Couple of cues step overs. Now delivers the ball in towards the far post. Wilson's there! Darford nil. Halifax to Darford. Heading to an eighth straight defeat and defending right out of the school football. Sterling unable to deal with it at the far post. Ball forward on the halfway line with Lee Burns. Burns plays it down the channel, looking for Noble. Noble in behind the back line here, getting to the byline. Or toe poke a ball off the top of the crossbar, and it'll go out for a corner kick. It is a corner for. Yeah. Their goal difference to take another back into minus 25. Free kick then floated in long. Glennon comes out, doesn't claim it. Darford have one back. Connor Essen with the header. Is this the moment? Is this Darford's attempt to get their season back on track? It's the lonely Connor Essen who rose highest to head home. The keeper caught in no man's land. Darford one, Halifax two. Maybe. Lee Burns with the throw in for Darford. Now Harris breaking down the right hand side, uh, pushing it forward. Toe poking the ball into the box. Martin's there! It's wide! Oh, 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 this is edge of your seat stuff now at Prince's Park. Long throw in. 
We've got probably about 90 seconds of stoppage time to go. It's Darford 1, Halifax 2, Elliot Bradbrook to launch a long throw in for the visit for the home side. Now it's a beat Steve from man. Now falls to the edge of the penalty area, cleared up towards the halfway line. The goal's coming on 63 minutes from Iron side and 73 for Wilson, giving Halifax a 2-0 lead. Connor Essam's goal on 82 minutes, giving Darford some hope in this one. But now Halifax looking to break on the counter-attack. Goes all the way back through to Alan Julian, the referee. Takes one glance at his watch, trying to get a point. Their first point since uh, since October in the league. Darford, the full-time whistle goes. It's eight straight defeats in the league for Darford. Eleven without a win. In